Okay, right now we're going to go over how to do page numbering in InDesign, how to set up your page numbering. A um, couple things we want to work with. We want to work with our master pages. Just to reference master pages again, your master pages will be applied to every page, and you can tell that by the A master A. So to double click a page and make sure you're on that page, you'll get a black icon there. We actually want to be on our master pages, and you'll see that the name turns black. That indicates that you're actually there because you can select a page but not actually be on that page. Okay, so we're going to go in the master pages and we're going to create our page numbers. Um, let's see if we can see our guides. So usually I use a half inch guide for page numbering so that you can place your page numbers like a footnote outside that page number. So having done that, we can put our page numbers in there and we can start setting our type. We can put anything we want. Um, the easiest way to do your page numbers is to go up to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. That'll show up as an A just because of A master. If we'd name that page number master, it would show up page numbers. Not recommended. Usually use one character to represent page numbers. Uh, you can change your font. Uh, what font did you want? Uh, you can brand them typically I do but it can go either way usually down here you're gonna put the name of the publication is what I do um, uh, you can change these to bold so you can format all that that applies and that will show up. So now as I click on page two, it's going to show up there and it will be page two. If I were to rearrange those pages, say I went down and moved it right here, it should jump to the page. And we found a problem with that. We're going to undo that because we don't want to move that page. But if we were to switch those pages, we'd have a problem where it's behind it. Anytime you put something on the master pages, it's always in the back. So for this one, we're going to copy this over. We're going to cut this out, Command X, paste that in, go to edit, cut, paste that in. Is that just the number one? That's a slash under the, the delete key. And then we'll use the right align and line that up. And typically this is the name issue. And spell it. Okay, so that's typically what I do. That's your page numbers. We do have one problem if it were on the back, if it were covered up. Um, say, for example, we do something like that. That's going to be a problem. Okay. Say we don't want a page number on there. We can just drag the none master page over it, and that will omit it. Say we're doing an add page, or we don't want a page number on that one. We can set it there. Um, Design-wise, when would you not? an ad page. So as far as this goes, we're going to go in and change the order of that. The only time I really use layers is for page numbers. And the reason that we'll use layers here, say we'll make a new one, call it page numbers. Okay, we're going to move this artwork into that layer. Hold shift and click on that. And move that artwork into that layer and lock it. So that layer is locked. Okay, and the reason that I do that is so that when you drag that down, it's in. Oh. So master pages will be at the bottom of every layer. Okay, that's how you can set those up. If you need to have, sometimes we'll do, we'll need it to be white. Okay, we'll make a new one, call it B Master. And we lock that layer. Change that, and you can change that color to white. Well, in theory. Change this one to white. Okay. And now you have reversed type page numbers. So the reverse type is the white on black, or white on green for this case. So we, what we do is we take B Master and apply it just to that page. 
becomes white. When you move under it, you go to white if you're doing a black background or something. Okay? Two master pages, really basic, really easy.